Ivan K fans around the world, this is what Ivan told me when I asked him, what's the worst advice you were given as a young man? Now that is easy. The worst piece of advice that I have ever been given was to be myself. Uh, I know that a lot of people end up thinking that ultimately that's the answer to everything, that being yourself means that you won't have to make any secrets about anything and people will understand what's laid in front of them, but to do with my work, when I was myself, because I'm an extremely affable chap, I like to get on with everybody, I like to smile when I'm in pain, and I like to make sure that everyone goes and everything is tickety-boo and enjoyable in a company or in a filming or in any circumstance. And that's meant that sometimes people think that it's very easy to tread on me. And so, for example, I used to, I did a show, Sam Saturday, a thousand years ago, where I, it was my show and I had a director who was impeding my wonderfulness by making me stand up straight and be... Uh, uh, not myself, and not hunch about or use my arms frenetically. And I did exactly as he did on the very scene that was my screen test when I went up for the job in the first place. And I was called into Verity Lambert's office and told where had all my charisma disappeared to. And I explained that the chap who was directing me was quite keen and what he would use as an example of why I shouldn't be quite so mobile and Jewish in my expressions is, take a look at Clint Eastwood. He does nothing. And I I'm thinking, yes, but love, I'm just some spud who they bought in off the street, and if I do nothing, I'm just a spud doing nothing. But ultimately, she then said to me, what I needed to do was, after the take had gone, on every take for the next, for the whole series recording, that if I wasn't happy with it, I was to look over to the various people who were in the charge of that section of things and say, I'd like to do one more for me, please, and then I was supposed to do it exactly as I wanted to do it. As you can imagine, the director, who was a director of some... some uh, some notes back a thousand years ago and I then had no relationship with each other whatsoever and it led to all sorts of ghastliness. Now, if I had been one of those people who can be an actor and can be a to everybody to get what they want and then actually people will say oh such a diva but you know I know love but the, the, the results are so spectacular well you know then I could do that I just couldn't live with that I'd rather just get on and all that kind of stuff and what I should really do is look into my dark side and say no love I'm doing it again because you haven't got a clue what you're talking about so that piece of advice uh, be yourself that's not held me in the best stead I might have been waiting for a bigger answer for a bigger screen test if I hadn't paid attention to that, but it's too late now. And didn't you do that show at Pebble Mill? What was that show at Pebble Mill? The Sam... Yes, we did it. Yes, well, it, it was at... Uh, oh, do you know, I, it was so long ago, all I can remember is being in Regent's Park somewhere wearing a, a, a long coat and having been eating a diet pills for about 6,000 years before my first day of filming because they thought that my round face, which of course Verity Lambert absolutely loved, but Alvin Rakoff, there I've said his name, uh, he said, you need to lose some weight, Ivan, you need to lose some weight. So I lost a lot of weight and I could barely stand up. I was so skinny. I've had a look at the publicity photos quite recently actually. I don't recognise that guy. I've got at least three of him inside me now. Um, but uh, yeah, etc, uh, etc. Et and what piece of advice would you give to your 25 year old self? I guess to my 25 year old self would be you see, I, I went to 13 different senior schools and that's because my parents moved. They had a spectacular job as social workers and they run sort of hostels for, for people with special needs, for people for delinquent, this, that and the other, for troublesome adolescents, etc, etc. And so I was always going to a new school every sort of six months. Also, between my O-level two years, I changed schools and it was a completely different syllabus. But I, what, I, what I learned to do eventually was to not get beaten up, as it were, on the first few days at every single school I've ever been to, was to keep my mouth shut and stop looking like I was happy with everything and smirking when people said something horrible to me and coming back with a witty epithet uh, because that got me beaten up so many times, it's untrue. So what I would have told myself to save quite a few beatings and a broken nose is just keep your powder dry, love. You can end up, your, your wonderful, fascinating self could actually it, you know, inveigle itself into people's lives and consciousness over a gradual process. Don't try and turn up on day one and be the clever dick. 
So that's with nine swear words taken out and Lee can now relax that that went out without incident. That was the wonderful Ivan Kay telling us the best, uh, the worst advice he's ever been given and also what advice he would give to his younger self.